Hi, this is Dr. Kathy McGuire of Creative Edge Focusing. You can sign up for my complete free e-course on Rogers Empathic Listening and Eugene Gendlin's Experiential Focusing at www.cefocusing.com. <clears throat> Today, I'm going to take you through a complete focusing experience on something that you name as the sacred. Often, this kind of spiritual experience can be called being touched or being moved. There may be a sheen of tears in your eyes, and you know that you're in the presence of something more. Whatever it is that we call the sacred or the spiritual in the world. So Genlin's focusing is all about the intuitive body sense that you have at every moment in your living. And it's not what you think about in your head. It's what you experience often in the center of your body, around your heart, chest, as a more intuitive feel, uh, an inner knowing that is vague and pre-verbal. It doesn't have words, but it is very uh, real. It's your body wisdom. So Genlin's Focusing teaches you how to go back and forth between what you do know in your mind and the bodily feel that comes with that knowing. So like ideas and personal problems or interpersonal conflicts, spiritual feelings can also have an intuitive feel, a creative edge that can be expanded on and deepened by using the intuitive focusing process. If you have just an inkling or a flash of experience that feels sacred, you can go back to that experience during a specific focusing turn, like today, recover the spiritual feeling, and then find ways to carry it with you by creating more words and images for what it really is. So in a moment, I'll walk you through an experience of focusing upon the sacred. This is the kind of spirituality called imminent spirituality. It is for those of us who experience God or the something more or the sacred in the world as something we can experience in our body. So these are felt experiences of the sacred. It's called imminent spirituality. It could happen uh, while you're out in nature or listening to a piece of music, reading a poem, looking at a, a piece of art, even seeing a parent be kind to a child, being in a church, seeing a picture of the Madonna and child. It'll be different for each of us and different for each of us at different times. But you may often feel touched or moved to tears in these experiences of the sacred in everyday life. You may feel filled with love or awe or gratitude. So today we will use Genlin's focusing to take one of those uh, experiences that you've had or a, re or a symbol that brings a feeling of the sacred in you and we'll spend focusing time finding more words and images so that Later, we can carry this particular uh, experience and the symbols for it with us and go back to that wonderful experience of the sacred at any time. So that's the benefit. So uh, now I'm going to just describe uh, the focusing process. Uh, if you want to thoroughly learn Genlin's focusing, look for my YouTube called Genlin's six-step focusing process, and I will take you through it in a much more detailed way at that time. But for now, basically, I will ask you to close your eyes, uh, relax a little by following your breathing, 
then I'll ask you to choose a particular spiritual experience or sacred symbol that you want to spend time with, understanding it more deeply. So you might start thinking about that now. What would you like to spend your focusing time with in the realm of experiencing this sacred? Then we'll bring that experience or symbol fully present in our minds. And then we will set aside everything we already know about that and just pay attention to the body feel, the intuitive feel of that whole thing. Usually in the center of your body, around your heart, chest, the place where you have feelings or, or, or you might have an intuition. So setting aside thinking, paying attention to the feel of the whole thing for as much as a minute um, to get the body feel of it. And then we will go back and forth between that body feel and trying to create some words or images to capture it. And every time we come up with words or images, then we're going to go back to the body feel and ask, is that right? Does that really capture the whole body feel of it? And we'll look for words or images that are even closer to capturing it. And when you find the, the right words or images in this moment, you'll feel it in your body. Your body will go, yes, aha, that's it. That's the meaning of this for me. And when that happens, you can then create an, uh, those words or images as a, an anchor that you can use to go back to this experience anytime that you want. Uh, at the end of the focusing exercise, for some of you, I'll say, yes, if you've got it, then sit with that image. And then for others, I'll say, if your body says, no, that's not it, we'll go on with some further instructions. So here we are. I invite you to close your eyes. Get yourself comfortable first in a chair, most likely sitting with your feet uh, on the ground, solidly grounded. And I'm going to invite you to again close your eyes. Feel the weight of your body on the chair. Loosen any clothing that is too tight or uncomfortable. Just wiggle around. Get rid of some any stress in your face or in your shoulders. Begin to really give some warm attention to your body, which we ignore most of the time. So getting comfortable. And now I invite you to just spend a moment with your breathing as a way of coming inside. You don't have to try to change your breath. Just notice the breath going in and out. In and out. In and out. Now I invite you to notice any tension in your body, just starting with your head and face, neck and shoulders, chest. Notice if you're holding any tension, then imagine that that tension is a stream of water just flowing down your body and out your fingers and toes. Just letting go. Again, just imagine that tension from the top of your head, wherever, your neck, shoulders, chest, stomach. Just imagine that as a stream of water flowing down your body and out your fingers and toes.
and breathe. And let yourself travel inside of your body to a place of peace. And now I ask you to bring to mind an event or a piece of music or art or a religious symbol that felt sacred or had a spiritual significance for you or gave you one of those flashes of this is God, this is something more, a spiritual experience. So just take a minute to choose something like that. And now bring that experience or image very present in your thinking, visualizing yourself in that situation again, or really seeing that symbol strongly before you in your, in your mind. Bringing back that moment. And now set aside everything you already know about that, everything you've already thought in your mind. Set all that already known aside. And just pay attention to what comes in your body, in the center of your body, in your uh, chest, heart, intuitive area. Just spend a moment seeing if you can get the intuitive feel of that whole thing. What's the feel of that whole thing, being in that experience, being with that symbol? See if you can just feel all of it without words. And carefully see if you can find some words or an image for that intuitive feel. Go back and forth between any words or images that come and that body feel until something says, yeah, those words, that image captures it. And now gently ask yourself, what was so important for me about that? Or what about that touched me or filled me with awe? 
and wait at least a minute to see what comes in the center of your body. That preverbal intuition, that body feel of that whole thing. What was so important? What was sacred about it? Touched me, filled me with awe. And sitting quietly, just get the feel of that, that whole thing. And take any first words or images that come and check them against that body feel. Is that it? Or is there something more? And again, try to find words or an image that exactly fit that felt experience in. And now ask yourself, and what was so sacred to me about that? What do I mean by sacred? And again, just wait quietly for at least a minute to see what comes in the center of your body without words. Not everything you already know, just the feel of that whole thing about sacred. And again, check any words or images that come against that whole body feel. What is the sacred for me? How did that experience or symbol uh, lead to the sacred? And now ask yourself, does that capture what I mean by spiritual? And again, don't answer from your head what you already know, but wait as long as a minute for the answer to come in the center of your body, your wordless intuition, your creative edge before words. Does that capture what I mean by spiritual?
And again, taking any words or images that come and checking them against the body feel until the words or images are just right. And your body says, yes, that's it. And if you've gotten to that point where your body says, yes, that's it, you feel a, a release of body tension, a sense of rightness, then turn your attention to noticing if there are any spiritual experiences around the edges right now as you get that, uh, those words or image. Are there any feelings of sacredness, of floating in oneness, of awe and gratitude, of being moved or touched with tears. Just notice if that's happening right now, a sense of the sacred around your focusing process. And then lastly, for those who have found their sense of rightness, go back to the last words or image that you have or whatever words or image from this turn could serve as a flag or an anchor to bring you back to this particular experience of the sacred. Words or images that could serve as a reminder or a touchstone to bring you back to that whole bodily experience of the sacred. And maybe just spend some time sitting with that anchor, touchstone, image. And for those of you who haven't found it yet, where your body remains tense, then again, set aside everything that you've already thought and tried and ask your body, the creative edge, what is spirituality for me and where might I find it? And again, keeping your eyes closed, just pay attention in the center of your body, around your chest, heart, the intuitive feel of that to come. What is spirituality for me and where might I find it? And again, look for some words or an image that might be just right and capture that. And go back and forth between any body feel and words or images asking open-ended questions like, what is this for me? Or why does this matter to me? Until you find words or an image or even a gesture that begin to capture for you what is my felt experiencing of spirituality? And if that doesn't come right now in this exercise, just know that you have spent time focusing, you have spent time sitting with this whole issue. And just by giving that energy, you've started a new living forward around this issue. You can just put it on the back burner of your mind what is spirituality for me and how might I find it in the world? And later something new will likely pop up or maybe you'll be more aware of, oh yeah, right there, right then, that's spirituality for me. 
So just take a moment now, everybody, to just appreciate yourself and your body for taking time with this. Trusting that taking time to be with your inner knowing is the important thing. And that new experiences, what Jen Lynn calls felt shifts in your knowing and new action steps might arise later. So just appreciating and thanking our bodies. And if you got words or an image that could serve as an anchor or a talisman to bring you back to this spiritual experience, just remind yourself. You might want to write that down or just to make sure that you, you really put a flag in there so you can come back. And please remember that intuitive focusing is often learned more easily in the company of a focusing listener, someone who says back, uh, gives you an empathic reflection of your words so that then you can take your own words more easily back and hold them against the felt sensing and continue with that empathic listening until something shifts inside. So you can go to Creative Edge Focusing, www.cefocusing.com. You can find uh, lists of focusing trainers at uh, the Focusing Institute, www.focusing.org. And you can sign up for my free e-course at www.cefocusing.com. And thank you for your attention. And uh, I hope you had some sense of spirituality and sacredness as we spent this time together. Thank you.